today I'm getting my coffee station ready for fall so join me after the intro to see all the three styles I prepared for you hi everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well and enjoying your sunday so far and if you're new visiting my channel for the first time hello my name is shule and i really love my home decorating it uh, coming up with diy projects especially if i cannot find what i'm looking for in the shops i live in england love art love decorating love creating and i most of all love uh, creating relaxing as well as inspirational videos for you to enjoy so in today's video if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel for more of these videos and if you've been with me thank you so much for your ongoing support thank you so much for all the love all the likes and all the comments When I was in Turkey, I've seen this cutest thing and it was perfect for my coffee station and it was extremely inexpensive, only a couple of pounds worth of Turkish money, so it had to come home with me. I DIY'd this last year and it's two-faced and I will be using the Hello Fall for this coffee station. This one was from a pound shop in Japan, Tokyo, when I was visiting my son last year and I spray painted to go with my decor and it's perfect for this coffee station. And this little pumpkin I DIY two years ago and now many of you really love this one, I do as well, so I decided to use it as the colors perfect love pumpkin spice so this syrup coming out of the cupboard and i'm going to have it again and i bought it last year from home sense and they do have really long shelf life this candle i bought last year from home sense is perfect for my coffee bar it smells gorgeous even though i cannot use it because i don't want it to finish but it really smells like pumpkin spice latte this one was originally orange and I spray painted to two colors one was acrylic and the other one was shimmery and it is beautiful and I'm just going to put it on top just to add some greenery to my coffee station and you've all seen this one before in my coffee stations i really love this mug and this was a gift from my friend yonja thank you so much yonja i love my cup and there you have it this is style number one I only light up for video or Instagram pictures and I quickly turn it off because I really don't want it to finish so that's little trick that I use for this I sometimes burn my candles but sometimes I just can't this is one of them that I cannot if you have special candles that you cannot burn let me know in the comments below so I know I'm not alone really love the color and you are going to see on another DIY video how I spray paint it. And 
this one is the second style and I had to use my other cake stand or cookie jar from HomeSense, both of them and I just rearranged everything that I had. And these are the leftovers from style number one. So this is style number two. And for the third one I tweaked it a little and I'm using this gorgeous purple mirrored frame from HomeSense and I did this DIY pumpkin spice one last year probably you've seen it and it still goes perfectly uh, coordinated with my coffee station. As my cookie stands are not airtight, I always have to use uh, individually wrapped items and these ones are from Lidl. I will be revamping my coffee station for fall again at the end of this month for a collaboration so you have to revisit me. Uh, to see what I come up with because I'm not going to use any of these and it's going to be totally different and I have to do a lot of DIYs beforehand as well so it's definitely must watch so don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified so was it style number one two or three which one was your favorite don't forget to let me know in the comments below And I'm just going to make myself a quick latte, pumpkin spice latte, before I sit down and edit this video so I can upload it uh, on Sunday, today, so you can watch it for inspiration. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it inspirational for your own coffee station. If you did, please subscribe to my channel so I can continue to inspire you more. And until the next video, my friends, stay safe. Bye-bye.